and also event statuses. Uh, the next one, yeah, that's that. Uh, that is it. Let's look at this. See if it's um completed. Leave trace law. And you see the PDF is created as eight one five two. So this is the report you see. So apparently there's no prepaid uh, details available in the system. Uh, so I'll tell you the, the list of prepaid uh, uh, for customer by customer and the corresponding details, the purchase order and other uh, amounts. So the next report we're going to look at is this billing management report. So this is the report that uh, gives you uh, bill plan status. So here, if you look at the pages, these uh, control parameters, you can choose, do you want to, if you want to know all the pending, you can set that, or you can choose the status that you want to appear on the um, plan. You can say uh, all, everything, or in progress, so that you would see the all pending, this will give you everything. So let's say, let me see if we can. Uh, already and not processed bill plans. We'll run it and see. Customer on tracks. Uh, hi Kumar, uh, this is Karthik here. Yeah, Karthik. Is Mukesh joining? Uh, end of the session. I'm sorry. Is Mukesh joining for the session? Ah, uh, no. Oh, okay, right. Okay, go ahead.
reports search let's select the ready status <coughs> so this is again official report. You see the bill plan uh, status and, and uh, contract details. Initiator. Poster. Eight one five three C A L. So this one. So if you look at this, so this gives you the list of uh, customers and the contract number and what type of contract is this, bill plan ID and what is the billing method and the event name and the event status and the corresponding line amount. So, if you want to look at, at the summary level, like instead of going into uh, contract by contract, finding out uh, the uh, bill plan status, um, you can run this uh, report and look at it. Any questions so far on the reports? No, Mumar. Okay. Let's move on to the next uh, slide. Um, this is the contract processing um, checklist. So, so we have reviewed uh, so far, like the uh, you know from start to finish, from contract, read the contract um, header and line. Uh, first, we looked at the setups uh, that will uh, be used by the contract header and contract line. Uh, as far as the initial uh, sessions, we did that, and after that, uh, we created the contract header and contract line, and then uh, <coughs> um, created a contract plan. I'm sorry, revenue plan and the bill plan attached to the lines, and we did a allocation amount allocation for the products with it for. Uh, the contract. Uh, we also reviewed and updated the account distribution for each uh, line, contract line. Um, so assigned both billing and revenue plan and uh, uh, statuses, even statuses. And then um, we set the uh, bill plan to status ready either manually or we set the flag to be uh, set to ready when when you when you change the status of the contract to active, and then uh, we ran the 
billing contract billing interface process that uh, um, created bill on the um, um, billing module uh, the, and then we looked at the interface on the billing model uh, pending inter interfaces and then um, ran the billing interface process um, so this is the billing interface process uh, that created a temporary billing we looked at the uh, worksheet on the billing model and upload upload it and then once you approve it and you run the um, uh, single action invoice uh, that generated the invoice we looked at the invoice print, printed the invoice meaning like we looked at the PDF and then uh, run the, uh, ran the uh, pro project contract interface process to send the build information back to contracts so this is the contracts billing checklist next I'm going to review the um, uh, the revenue recognition process uh, checklist before that do you have any questions on the uh, checklist for uh, creating the uh, uh, bill contracts to billing no no okay so next we'll review the uh, um, revenue recognition process okay so revenue pro process <coughs> so similarly so the initial uh, part of the step is the same for this like uh, setting up the uh, proper distribution uh, uh, table set up tables and then create the contract and activate the contract and then uh, run uh, the deferred revenue process uh, once the uh, once you set the revenue plan status to ready uh, run the deferred revenue process if you have any deferred uh, lines within the contract um, and then set the revenue plan status to ready um, and then run the uh, I mean you will run this uh, deferred revenue along with this one um, run the amount based revenue process and then run the journal generator to send accounting entries to general ledger um, accounting definition these are the two accounting definition this is for contract based and this is uh, PC based uh, project costing based uh, accounting definition uh, and then you run the journal JGN um, and then finally you run the update general update process to update the contract projects with the completed revenue data back to the contract so that is all I have for contracts module. Do you have any questions? No, Kumar. Okay. All right. So if you don't have it, um, so that is all the session for today. So we are. Uh, completing uh, the contract as of today um, so the next week onwards we'll be billing starting from Monday okay. all right uh, you guys don't have any other questions so I'll see you uh, uh, on Monday at uh, 10 a.m. thanks guys have a nice uh, weekend uh, you to Kumar. Uh, Kumar, one thing. Yeah. Yeah. You are going to send out the training material, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. These will be sent. I mean, I already sent uh, the previous sessions uh, uh, materials. Uh, so okay. today's one I will send it. Okay. Okay.